Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point a Legendary Blind Playthrough. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing exactly that, the Legendary Blind Playthrough, where I'm trying to prevent the world going to shit. Uh, it is time to defend Fort Shaw. We got our prime uh, team going and uh, we definitely want ranks, but this year, yeah, we, why? Ah, uh, that was one of the guys that we uh, rescued. Ali, great to have you on board, school and all. Totally appreciate you. But please chill out for a bit, okay? Good, we'll put that there. And what else is happening? Well, you're level one, so not much is happening. We're exactly just doing that, chilling out. Uh, we got a few things here that we could uh, trade in. Uh, so number one, we got a Scyther. Number two, we got uh, the Rebuke, uh, if that is still needed. And do we have a shotgun? Do we have one of these lovely, lovely shotguns? No, we don't. So, question is, Grell has Maddox of the Ancients. That's not good enough. Scyther all the way. And we do have a grenade launcher left over. Question of the day is who could uh, use that? Not ranks. Well, that might be something that we're actually giving to the second team. Well, inappropriate Murphy could use it. Hmm. Hmm. Look. That whole pistol uh, for stunning that was fun and all. But I think having him with the ability to just uh, explode something is actually helpful. Like the idea? Good. Vrel needs more hit points. We're just skilling whatever is lower hit points or willpower. Yeah, having the ability to having the ability to go up to like 300 uh, 300 odd hit points like 310 uh, for instance in this case that is super helpful because uh, that will help us uh, to withstand almost like two direct uh, shots from close range which is good very good we find ourselves in a defense against the Cyphers of Anu. Well, who would have thought? Good, this time Shattered Realm is going to make the round. There we go, one down. Moves a bit closer. Ever so closer. Move up all the way to here.
Uh, we are charging down. By a dash. What? What treachery is this? Okay, well. We just got paralyzed. Good. Can't really find anyone else uh, there. Let's just use Grell as our watchdog. Sniffing out where the rest is hiding. All right, luckily we got that. And we can move all the way up to here. Drinks moves over there. Oh, look at you. Disciple of a new priest. Well, that's one. That's two and three. That's another one, and I think we're almost done. <laughs> Fast defense. Cleared in just one round. Good, I made the mistake to attack uh, the wrong guy once, but yeah, that, it is what it is. Learn from it, won't happen again. The only thing that is annoying with all of the defenses is we're gradually losing our standing with the factions, which really sucks because it's a net negative and the amount of attacks that they are uh, rushing through is quite a bit. Good, see, now they are really under attack, which stinks, but I think we can reach that just in time. Medicore 8. We're, nah, we're not doing any of the trading here. We could send both of these Medicores over there. What would that mean? I mean, both of them would we be on time. What is the Haven Info here? Very strong attack. Very strong attack. So, we could send that over and then simply use the Prime team in order to defend here. I 
think I just want to make sure that we're not losing a haven. Ah, this here doesn't look great. The Tiamats are super slow. Let's hope we can get the invasion before it's too late. Good, so next mission here, again, same deal as beforehand. We're deploying the squad. Good, we landed. Let's get the party started. Let's get this rolling. <laughs> First things first, good old Grell. Will tell us where the enemies are. Okay, secondly, we are going to do some rapid clearance. Uh, one and two. Do the old trick of handing over actions. Moving up. And should the realm begins to clear one entire flank. Good. It's actually surprisingly easy how you can kill all of them. One hit and they are just gone. believe that that priest started on the toilet. Imagine the explanation why that would be. During the invasion he's like, yeah guys, I gotta take a short leak. Well, it appears to me that we have almost gotten everyone. Contact. I'm going in. Well, maybe not. Maybe there are three more. But luckily for us, we do have the ability to just 
use our second extermination machine. Good rapid clearance, yes please, and whilst we're at it, how about we're sprinting all the way over here. One, two, and three, and that should be it. Prime team is just on point. The scyth uh, scythers are just too good. Unbelievable. Great experience. Great individual skill points. Good job. So. I hope that we will find an end to all of this soon because boy oh boy. We are. We're decreasing the. Uh, favor with every single defense that we're doing but not doing them would also not be okay because you would lose uh, the regions likely seven hours so we're doing that and that happening over here can maybe still make it no that's crew cave and I already know that Continuing to trade. Cool defending strings, one attacking strings, 21. Perfect. We still make it in time. Start the mission. And this is actually team number two, our uh, second uh, best team. Um, by thinking about it, just looking at it, you know. From a manufacturing standpoint, we do have a lot of snipers, so just getting uh, the scorpions in whenever possible would be helpful. Let's see. Um, well, this almost asks for a better setup thank you but that extra flamer will go a long way that's fantastic secondly we got the fury so the question is is there anyone here that would be better suited uh, with another rocket launcher i think we've already given the uh, grenade uh, launcher to so uh, to someone in the prime team i don't even have one left over yeah never mind Saiken. great idea but mm -mm. but still that was good uh, the destiny 3 is good and the fury missile launcher is good as well plus we do have the normal uh, goliath uh, launcher that's good armor is fine as well I'm actually happy with that setup. Now, we got a Medic of the Ancients, which is good. Damn, they they do have uh, really decent equipment. Well, it's the second team, no shit, Sherlock. Of course they do. Uh, Tyler, again, good equipment. Sniper is fine. Mm 
we even got one upgraded sniper here, which is which is even better. So that's good. Hexer. Oh, I forgot, totally forgot uh, we might be able to upgrade something. Not here. 14 enders. I think the next item that you need is Adrenaline Rush, so we're going to save for it. Rapid clearance for Tyler would make a huge uh, difference, but also, frankly speaking, the onslaught. That's typically good. Adrenaline rush for Natal uh, Natalia would be good. A couple of shots with the sniper in one round would make such a difference. Hmm. Jim. I mean, look. Assault rifles. Hmm. Couple of interesting options here. Here's a ranged character and rage burst is good, but rage burst is only good if you're really in melee. Uh, Mark for death isn't bad, but I yet have seen it to be used very well. So I'm wondering, biochemist better for auto attack, uh, auto attackers. Should we actually give him trooper, which would give us a huge bonus with rifles? I think that's not a bad idea for the character concept. It feels wrong to ignore the um, ultimates. Maybe I'll give Rage Burst another try. Let's try it and see how it works. Eulet here is fine. We could use an upgraded grenade thrower for sure. Okay, we deliberately chose not to use uh, the heavy middle portion. That's okay, we got that grenade thrower instead. Boom Blast would be the next natural evolution. I don't like the weapon a lot, so we're going to change that. And also there is definitely a strength problem happening here. Too little movement for what we're trying to do. Iron is okay, but we need field medic and we need fast use for the med kit, so there is still more that we can do with him. Electrical reinforcements, great skill. I definitely want to uh, buy into that. Yeah, and we do have a melee weapon left over. That is atypical. Normally, that never happens. So let's put that one here. We're not trying to capture anything, but we're trying to kill. Good. I think overall fine. Let's go. Okay, so we landed on the rooftop. I don't know if I like that. 20 uh, power rating sort of suggests that there is a Skrilla around. And whenever there's a Skrilla in Manila, we're not safe on the rooftop. That's what they say. Oh, never mind. 
we got New Jericho as enemies. Forget about the Skrilla and Manila. Here's a gift. Good. Moving up here. Pretty good. I like that. Uh, how about... Moving over here. We know there are more on that side, fair enough. For now we gotta deal with the snipers though. Very good. That removes a huge blockade. Natalia, show us what you got. All right, that's one down. And we got a second shot. All right, she definitely showed us what she got. Really well done. Jim moves down. Yeah, we could try to hit them, but likely that is not going to work. Instead, Hexor. Yeah. It's not good enough. I, I mentioned uh, the ability is only really working against large enemies from a closer position. We hit the tree, but again, that is not good enough. Overwatching with our rifle. Let's show them what we can do. Oh, wait. Shoot. Ready. I thought we had Jim selected. Yeah, we lost it. Two action points there. Okay, someone needs to take the other side. Where are the other disciples of Anu that are helping us here? Here I come. There. Good. Going We're moving in. up. Mainly because uh, the Berserker wants to get up and close. Almost cleared that entire side. If I was to throw that one somewhere, where would I throw it? I guess I'm just moving up here. We can throw it over here next turn. All right. Good, he's dashing. Opening fire! Uh, uh. Oh, and 
They brought an armadillo. Cool. Proceeding. Fire in the hole. Uh. Oh wow, that one hurt a lot. Shock and awe. Uh. There's. Good, we gotta deal with those two clowns. Stay sharp. That was a great hit. Well done. Well done. Good, let's start. One down. Moving to coordinates. Moves over. Let me take a look. We're healing the arm. Let's show him what we can do. Lining up a shot. Oh boy, did he just really miss that one? Come on, Jim, you can do better than that. Two misses in a row. Unbelievable. Good. Jim moves up. About number one. Nothing that can be fixed. Oh, full healing. And number two, Tyler. Finally gets her uh, that sniper down. I'm on the move. Natalia Quick shot oh, enemy down. One more enemy eliminated very good Anders Sanders uh, slightly moves back, just out of out of uh, reach for everyone else. Um. Little green moves up. Red. We get a berserker. That berserker does not have proper inventory. Still not a hundred percent sure. How do I use that? I'll be right there. Cypho of Anu moves in. Oh! That's very much dazes the guy.
Where can we place that turret in a meaningful way? I think on an elevation would make sense. Nothing. Which, which brings us to over here. Slight damage uh, for moving. Give me a sec. And counter heal. Unfortunately, can't shoot on top of that. I can make a difference. But yeah, overall we're fine. Ah! They had a good turn, but we had a good turn as well. Oh, that hurts. Ready to fight. Rockets. Luckily, that one missed. The fall damage is very, very high. Stay sharp. Interesting how all of uh, them position just outside of our range. <laughs> all right, everybody gets a bit of frenzy. Continuing with remote control. Ah. Just barely missed open. them. Good. That's one hit. Taking action. And a grenade. Nice elastic grenade. I like it. Getting closer. Can't really... I mean, I could stomp him. 200, uh, but he's too healthy for that. Uh, uh. Good, the fury is gone and we took out a lot of his armor as well.
war crying so that they are continuing to lose their actions. And we're moving up further with a little green. Good, now on the other side. Time to get rid of the snipers. Target hit. That's one hit. This better work. Jim wants to make up for his bad shots the last time. Very much killed him. Oh yeah, hell yeah. That was a nice little hit. Natalia moves up and let's make sure that we can get the guys downstairs. Unbelievable. On my way. Good, we're hitting. Overwatch. What else? Um Generally speaking, we could also just deal some damage. And that worked very well. Rolling. Moving back into cover. Done. Next up. Jim, who moves up? Good hit. Very good hit. Online. And I think we're done. Tactical break. Tactical break. Nice little cover. Ah! I'm hit bad. Decipher hits and ah! a bit more of that. Good, Ender Sanders moves up. Bombs online. Um tell you what, we're just going to overwatch. Providing overwatch. Providing as long as there is fire. No more enemies are coming from here. Move up. Oh, 
approach. More overwatch. More overwatch. Anything that moves dies. Good, little green moves up. <sighs> and let's start to hit the Amadillo. for everyone and you know might as well do that and then a little bit of that so next round we can use the spider and a turn good hits I like that I think I'll camp here for a while. Very good. Fantastic. Looks like a charm. I'll be right there. Hundred thirty damage. That's not bad. Let's just get this over with. I think I got in some damage. That's it. Ah, unfortunately, the acid shots didn't work. I was safe. hoping we would get in some more damage. Rolling. Natalia moves up and overwatches big time. Covering. Tyler moves up, does exactly the same. Good, that's one. And whilst we're at it, that's two. Well, the second one might not have worked as I planned. Good, in and out. <laughs> yep, that and <laughs> remove their ability to do something with war crime.
same deal here. Warcry solves all of the problems. Great overwatch, I love it. And that's a solid kill. We dazed the car. Not sure how that exactly works. But boy, did we just kick their butts. Cool. The second team still got it. Really a different combination almost of a team, but really strong overall performance. They certainly got um, a lot of firepower. A lot of snipers as well them being on top of the roof being able to just like kill every uh, everything on the uh, on one side of the map that was impressive so even more important that we get them some more sniper rifles cool Two for twelve, yes please. Yes and yes, thank you. Moving on. How's the manufacturing coming along? I mean, yeah, our asset weapons are still way out there. And we're getting so many resources uh, from the ancients that it appears to me we will very regularly uh, create uh, weapons. Good. We really got some nice overall resources from all of uh, the uh, from all of uh, the missions. There is another Pandorian layer, which I think is more than ever needed, not uh, for just fighting back the Pandorans, but mainly uh, to uh, get our reputation uh, with all of them back up, because that. Has suffered quite a uh, quite a bit now. Yes and yes, thank you. Well, here's the deal. This is going to be a real defense mission, one that is going to take a bit longer. And we want to make sure that that population stays alive. So that's definitely happening in the next episode. Uh, soon the Pandorans will be under attack. Not sure what the Sinidran moon launch uh, site under construction means. No, not 100% sure. What is the research uh, before we go to the research? Uh, so we have one uh, structure over here, which once we have defended that, we might be able to fly there with team number two and just take it out. Sure. Manufacturing wise, the Helios is soon done. Once that is done, I think everybody could meet here and uh, relocate team number two into the two new heliuses and then they can fly around. 
So yeah, that is fine. In terms of manufacturing, like I said, there is still plenty that needs manufacturing. In terms of research, we got the uh, Yugathian uh, receptor bill, the centralized AI, Temple of Elana, and then I think not really needed the advanced rocket technology, but the first three, they seem to be important objectives. I still don't fully understand how to finish the game. Do you need to research everything? Uh, because if that's the case, we got like two, three, yeah, two more, one and a half more days to go. Soon our first batch of research labs will come in that finally will increase our research capacity drastically. And really, I mean, the other, uh, the other big thing is we have a couple more Phoenix bases that could be activated. This here, for instance, you know what? Let's just activate it because why not? Number fifteen uh, is uh, Central India. India? No, it was. It's not India. What am I even saying? Oh my gosh, Lord. China. Mongolai more so, but yeah, China. It's not India. Oh my god. Uh, small temporary, temporary lapse of judgment. Energy generator, uh, satellite uplink, uh, mist repeller, and I think we're pretty much okay. Don't need anything else. I mean, yes, we could do food production, but that's not uh, really helping us. Good, in terms of bases, I think there are only two that are left uh, over. One is Fino uh, Phoenix Echo up here. All right, cool. And then, oh no, three. One is Phoenix RD9. And one is Phoenix Omega here in Australia. I wonder if there is an achievement for actually activating all of the bases. Let's do Greenland. Good shit. Living quarters. Storage, do we really need that? How much storage? 840, oh, we leave it unrepaired. Energy generator is fine, which brings us to that and to the good old mist repeller. Yeah, we that already costed us quite a bit. We could use more mutagens to put uh, defense in there yeah not the worst idea but it is yeah I, we'll see if uh, as and when we're capturing something at the moment i'm not in the mood of doing long missions just to capture stuff this is completely uh, sufficient uh, that what, what we currently have there is nothing more that we need we could uh, build something but our queue is full so no point in artificially doing it so we got two more uh one down here which yep yeah, costs quite a bit to activate and we would also need to free it up so that's number one by the way south africa Mystery Pella, yeah, okay, cool. 
It's on the way. And the other one is over here, which we also need to uh, free up. Maybe we'll do it, maybe we won't. Uh, I feel like having defended uh, or having captured enough bases, we do have 16. So apparently there are two more so that makes an overall uh, total amount of 18 bases across uh, across the entirety of uh, the world. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We got PHP 3 here, 19. I could actually see us uh, liberating that because it's close by. So if we have a bit more uh, material in the future, we could do that. Next up, defend and uh, mm, so defend here, kill that structure out there, just to get back into the diplomacy game. And do the remaining research and hopefully something will come up. I still haven't seen anything yet. Oh yeah, and we got the protein uh, field, which sort of is an issue as well. If we were to deploy a guardian, That'll cost us too much propane uh, gas. I don't like that idea. Instead, let's manufacture, I think 125 is enough for a rocket launcher. Isn't it? Yep, rebuke right there. There you go. It's just too good of a rocket launcher uh, to not take it. And thankfully, for as a reward for me going completely ape uh, and building uh, 30, uh, 30 uh, of these uh, research plants that allow us to, uh, to harvest the material and doing all of uh, the uh, different materials, I think it's more than fair that we're prioritizing the weapons and just equip everyone. But we don't need to drag that out. I'm actually not trying to do it. I'm, I just am unsure what the rest is going to bring. Currently, it seems like the entirety of the world is being engulfed by the virus. And only these mist repellers are keeping, uh, keeping us somewhat uh, safe. So maybe the solution really is to uh, get all of the 19 sort of bases uh, going. Who knows? I, I don't know. Um, and then have, uh, have um, the protective shields cover the majority of uh, the earth. And maybe that's the wind condition. I, I don't know. Maybe that is how the game works. It's a bit odd because the game just doesn't tell you exactly what you need to do. There are objectives, but there is no indication. I don't even know if I'm doing well or not at this point. I suppose I am, but I have no idea. Anyways, if you think that uh, we're doing well, then uh, hit the like button. If you don't think we're doing well, then yeah, please also hit the like button um, for a bit of moral support. And see you in the next episode. Bye bye.